Hello and welcome to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is uh, the uh, 1st of December and I have a little bit of an update regarding the PS4. Uh, some of you may remember that the PSN network has been having some problems in the EU and the UK ever since it launched here uh, last Friday. Now, of course, there have been numerous login issues reported, as well as slowdowns, and of course, Sony even pulled the ability to redeem vouchers, which of course even includes the upgrades from PS3 to PS4, and anything of that nature. And although we haven't seen as bad as problems as we saw on launch day, of course, Sony have yet to issue an official statement. However, they have said that Sony will be increasing the availability of voucher redemption which I said was basically switched off to ease the burden on servers which was of course caused by all the EU users jumping on them at once. Now they made a post on the PlayStation blog which said quote we have been working on the PSN service rollout throughout the weekend are continually increasing the availability of the voucher redemption functionality. The next phase of the rollout is to introduce the What's New activity feed and live item in the content information screen, which will be able to update you on tomorrow. Thank you for continued patience as we manage PSN to restore full service. Now, switching off the What's New activity feed did cause a little bit of a localised displeasure in some areas as of course it is pretty much a social media function of the PS4 but the redemption of vouchers was a pretty big topic and a pretty big deal for a lot of people as of course as I said previously people were unable to upgrade from PS3 to PS4 with certain multi-generation games now of course this doesn't mean it's turned on everywhere that everyone can redeem vouchers as they said it's increasing the availability of which basically means to me that it is available in some areas probably in the areas that are less server drain for some reason there are less users in that area or perhaps the servers are dealing with it better there or just the infrastructure is better in that particular area of that country or that country as a whole even it's possible um, so they can give people that functionality back without breaking anything too much and also it gives them a chance to of course basically still work on things on the other other end and of course if something goes wrong after they roll out the functionality in some areas then of course you know it's only a few people who would lose out again if they have to turn them off again to perhaps fix some further issues and what have you so rather than doing a full rollout and then potentially having everyone having it taken away again it makes sense to me that they're slow slowly putting it back out there, basically trying to ease the servers in a little bit and also give themselves a little bit of breathing room just in case anything goes wrong. So I would be curious to know how many of you have actually been able to redeem vouchers, whether they be for PS3 to PS4 upgrades or what have you. I'd be curious to know as to what areas are actually ex affected by this shutdown and what areas have been have not been having any problems, excuse me. And I'd also be curious to know how the PSN service has been for you since the launch day. As I said, it's been a lot smoother for us, but of course we're accessing it a little bit later on in the day, so perhaps that is affecting us. So I'd be curious to see some feedback from you guys. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.